The likely Democratic presidential nominee Kamala Harris is in Houston. She just wrapped up a 22-minute speech at the American Federation of Teachers Convention. Our Nicole Baker joins us live. So, Nicole, what did she have to say? Hey, good morning to you, Karen. Honestly, Vice President Harris touched on a number of big issues here. The biggest one being the American Federation of Teachers is the first labor union to endorse her. They did that three days ago when they voted in special session to, to endorse her for president. And in this room today, it was energized. So many educators here, thousands actually, showing up in their support of not only Vice President Harris, but really Joe Biden. We walked into an energized crowd. They were chanting before she got on the stage saying they wanted Harris. We saw signs that said, thank you, Joe Biden, and, and signs that were um, promoting Kamala Harris on the road now for president. But she touched on a number of issues, student loan forgiveness debt, which we know is crucial to these voters in this room. She talked on about book bans versus assault bans. She basically said the other side wants to ban books, while, which we know here in Texas is, is crucial. Uh, the other side wants to ban books. We want to ban assault weapons. She talked about signing the John Lewis Voting Act if she becomes president. There were a lot of issues on the table here. I want you to take a listen to just some of the things she had to say. This work is personal, and it is professional, and it is so critically important. And so it is because of Mrs. Wilson and so many teachers like her that I stand before you as Vice President of the United States of America. And that I am running to become President of the United States of America. Trump and his extreme allies want to take our nation back to failed trickle-down economic policies, back to union busting, back to tax breaks for billionaires. Donald Trump and his allies want to cut Medicare and Social Security to stop student loan forgiveness for teachers and other public servants. And I say to AFT, they even want to eliminate the Department of Education. Again, a very engaged crowd here. And we know this is not a done deal for Harris. She still has to have that official vote at the Democratic National Convention next month to officially become the party's nominee. But if you ask the people in this room, they are ready to see her take office and make change. We'll have much more from the AFT coming up later tonight at live at 4 and 5. Right now, though, Nicole Baker live for you in Houston, CBS News, Texas. Karen. All right, Nicole, thank you very much.